In the last video, we learned about the hide method and we wrote some of our very first jQuery code. In this video, we're going to create a click event using jQuery. Now, right down here, this is the way we, of course, created it in our JavaScript series. Inside our button HTML element, we put the on click event here, and then, of course, we called our JavaScript function but it's handled differently in jQuery. And you can see right here, I've added a button. So basically, you'll want to go out and download the HTML file as well as the CSS code in the description of this video. I've created paste links for it because I've altered the CSS code a little bit and obviously I've altered the HTML code and added this button, which of course is right here. And now, as I said, it's done a little bit differently. We do not actually put the on click event in our HTML. Everything will be controlled from jQuery. So that's why I just wanted to keep this up here so you could see how we did it in JavaScript. But basically, as I said, it's going to be a little bit different in jQuery. And what jQuery gives us is a click method to use. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use another method. So it's really all about these jQuery methods. And as I said in the last video, once you learn those, jQuery gets very easy. So let's go ahead and we got to call our jQuery library. So you will remember in order to do that, we type in a dollar sign. So there we go. Now remember the first thing we want to do is select our button. So this is very different, of course, from JavaScript. Remember, it's all about those selectors inside this parenthesis. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this and we'll put this right here and we'll select the button element. This is just a standard CSS type selector. And so now we have our button selected. Now we can go ahead and call the click method. Now, inside our click method is the function that will get submitted when we click on our button. It's very similar to our JavaScript. Remember, when we hit this button, this function gets submitted. Only now, the function is inside our click method. It's right here. Now, you remember functions and methods are very similar. They're both performing an action. They're very, very close relatives. They do pretty much the same thing. The only difference is a method is called from our object with this dot accessor. So that's the difference. A function usually is not, but a method is. And again, you will remember that from the JavaScript series. So here's our function. Now our hide method will go inside of our function. That's what's gonna get called. That's the code that we're gonna execute once our function gets activated from our click method. And this is the code that will be executed. So actually what we're doing now is we're just putting the hide method inside our function. So we need to close this function out. We've already closed this function out right here. We simply need to close this function out right now. So let's do that and we'll just copy and paste it there. And that's good. Now everything is correct. Everything's closed out correctly. Our hide method will now get executed once our function is called from our click method. And again, we're just selecting our button. Now the nice thing about this is, think about this, you can put as many different buttons now as you want in here using the CSS selector. So if you had a different button here with different IDs, you could load them all up in here and call them from one area. How nice is that? You don't have to put anything in this HTML like we did down here. And apparently I closed the browser out at some point. Okay, well, we need to resubmit it anyway. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the right section. So let's put in the selector for that, which of course is pound right. And let's go ahead and save everything up. Let's resubmit the browser. So let's go ahead and hit it. And there you can see it worked. So that's how the click method works in jQuery. 